Cam, what shifted and what changed in that third quarter? You guys had a five-point lead with 7.54 to go, and then the Rockets went on the run and changed the momentum. Yeah, they started uh, making threes. They got some wide-open threes. Offensive rebounds, wide open threes, and started starting to get to the free throw line. That was the biggest thing. They started getting to the line a lot in the third quarter, and they started knocking down the threes, wide open threes that they got. So, you know, transition. So it was just, you know, it's a tough third quarter. What made it difficult to kind of respond to their run and fight back into this game? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really know for real. I don't got no comment. And then for you and your game, I know that this is not something that we're accustomed to seeing. Is there anything that, that teams are making it difficult for you in the offensive side of things? No. I'm just missing. This, this is all on me. And everybody's playing me regular. I mean, these are shots I've been working on. Ever since I started playing basketball, so you know, I've never been on something like this. But, you know, it's nothing they're doing, honestly. I'm just missing. What's going to take to for you to get kind of get your groove back into the Cam Thomas that we're accustomed to seeing? Yeah, shit, just make them <laughs> at the end of the day. Shit, just make them. But, you know, I'm just going to, you know, try to find some positives and everything, not really get too down because, you know, you get down, then it keeps going. So, you know, so for me, I just try to, you know, you know, you have a bad game, just wash it. Just like now, I don't really, uh, that game's over with. Over, over seven I was, it happens. Next game, I could go 10 for 10. Y'all know how I do, so it's not really... I'm not really pressed on it. I just got to keep staying, staying locked in and staying what works for me and just keep working and, you know, make some shots, obviously. But, no, nah, I'm not really worried about it. I know you said it's just on you, but how much do you lean on your support system and, like, your family and your crew to kind of help you through this as well? Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good to see that everybody say, um, you know, I'm getting some texts. Everybody saying they're, um, you know, everybody believes in me. Just, you know, just, you know, just positive words of encouragement. But at the end of the day, I don't. I need it, but at the end of the day, I don't really need it because I know me. I know that I need to, I need to stay up with myself. Like I'm a harsh critic on myself, so you know, obviously, I need the encouragement. But I mean, I'm not worried about this. It's just two games, you know, worst two games of my life, so it's cool. I mean, I'm not worried. We get play Friday, so I just gotta, just gotta bounce back for that game. So it'll be a big game, tough game, tough team, good team. So you know, just try to fix it. When you look at just the road trip at these four games, what's the biggest takeaway now as you guys head back home to Barclays? Yeah, just um, putting together a full, complete game. It's like, you know, that's the thing we talked about. Um, just instead of being like a team that does it in stretches or, you know, segments, just try to do it for a full 48 minutes because we have segments where we look good, play good, and then we have segments where, you know, like I said before, we just – you know, the bottom falls out. Like, I guess mainly because when the team is going around, we're all like, oh, we get down a little bit. But, you know, that's, instead of you know, when the team's going around, we just want to stay together, stay connected, and just keep believing and keep trusting what we worked on all training camp, all season. So, you know, I probably said we just need to stop getting down on ourselves when teams go on runs. With the, like, you know, like the third quarter, they got on a run, and we just, I could tell, like, we, we got down a little bit, like, oh, here we go again. So we just got to, we just got to, like, push past that. Do you say when it comes to that three-point shooting, that's a factor of it? When you're down on yourself and those shots aren't falling, it's kind of hard to get back and to find that groove? Yeah, for sure. Making shots is always part of everything. So, you know, where we, where people want to say, oh, do the other things or not, at the end of the day, if you're not making shots, it's tough. We can play all as defense as we want. Everybody's going to get down because we're like, damn, we're playing all this good defense, but we're not making it. So at the end of the day, you know, I mean, we're getting good looks, honestly. We're getting good looks. We're just not making them, you know. And it's just part of the game. It's just what comes with it. But obviously, everybody knows, like, everything takes a turn. Everything takes a turn. We'll have a game where we don't miss. Like, we had games like that this year. So, you know, the, t the tide just got turned. So, turn quickly, though. So, we just got to turn. I know you guys will take it game by game, but how excited are you looking forward to the opportunity to play in Paris? Oh, yeah, it's cool. Um, it's my first time out, out the country like that. So, it'll be fun for me. Different experience. But, obviously, we're there to win a game. We got a big game. So, at the end of the day, we gotta go win that game. But it's good to be, you know, playing in a different country for me, just going to a different country. So it'll be cool. So. For you personally, I mean, have you been getting the looks that you yes. would want? Shot profiles, what you want? I'm just missing them. These are shots y'all see me make all the time. I'm just missing them at this point. I just gotta make them, but nah, I'm not worried. Just one, just flush the game. We play Friday, you know. 
probably go have a great game. Just, just got to keep that mindset. So just got to. But honestly, there's nothing nobody's doing, honestly. I'm just missing. I'm getting everything I want, getting to the paint. You know, I miss like today, I missed some layups. You know, um, missed the mid-range I always make. Had some wide open looks from three. And step back three that I always take. And make just missing. I'm just missing, man. I don't really have no comment on that. I'm just missing. I mean, we've been spoiled at uh, the way you've put up buckets in the short time that you've been here. Is this the longest stretch that you can remember like this for yourself? Oh, yeah, it's the first, but, you know, I think people forget I'm human. <laughs> people forget I'm human, and I'm still only my third year. I'm like, I'm going to have ups and downs. I don't know why. It's such a big thing while I'm off. I'm like, yeah, I'm human. So I'm going to have some bad games like this, but think about me, I'm, I'm confident. I'm going to stay confident. I'm going to keep taking the same shots, you know, that I'll – Took today against New Orleans, you know, because I'm I made them all year. Every year I've been playing here since y'all seen. So it's not it's not affecting me getting down on myself. I just want to keep playing, stay confident, and keep playing within the flow of the offense. So everything will turn around for sure. With the five games, I guess, how do you guys not let really the last twelve games? I guess losing to the twelve. How do you guys not let this stick to you guys and just kind of like not let it carry over to going back home? Yeah, I mean, you know, when it's stretch like this, is tough, but. We just got to find positives of what we're doing in these games and certain stretches that we're playing in. We just got to find those positive and keep harping on that and then look at our, you know, the points of the game where we're, you know, where we drop off a little bit and try to pick that up. You know, at the end of the day, you know, like I said earlier, it's like the shot making. You know, shot making does everything to a team, honestly. We can play as good defense, play hard as we want. If we're not making shots, then it's like, oh, oh, then everything goes down. But. We just gotta stay, stay with it, stay with it, keep guarding, stay locked in. Just you know, take take the shots that we make and make the shots that we take. So that's all the main thing. And team wide, the profile is what you guys want. Oh yeah, we're getting great shots. Um, I forgot which game it was. They said we were like two for twenty from corner threes. I mean, that's what that's what we want. Driving kick threes, it was two for twenty. So I mean, we're getting the shots we want. I, mean, I don't really feel like none of this is really like. We were taking awful shots. Like we're getting good shots. The shots that we took all year, everybody taking the same shots they took all year. We're just, just not making. It's not making them. I mean, I don't really know. It's crazy. How do you not let it affect the other areas? I think Mikel said the other day, like when shots aren't falling, on guys got to find a way to bring it on defense, rebounding, whatever. How, how do you not let the missed shots affect these other areas of the game? Yeah, uh, for me personally, it's just just knowing the time I put in, the work I put in, but obviously trying to impact the game. Like today, I try to get people involved a little more because, you know, I'm off. I try to get people involved a little more. But for us as a team, I probably say we just got to stick, stick to our principles that we learned in training camp, you know, stick to our identity as a team that we have is just keep playing no matter what. No matter if we're making shots, missing shots, we just got to stick to our identity as a team. So, you know, we just got to keep that up.